Go. Okay. Well, it's a, a fantastic uh, moment in the Diffused history. Here we are again. So Diffused insights into the men of doTERRA, giving men a voice. And uh, it is with uh, the greatest respect that we have uh, one of the owners of doTERRA with us here, Corey Lindley. And uh, it's an, an immense pleasure for me and an honor and a privilege to, uh, to be able to spe spend some time with Corey today. We're here in Perth. And uh, so uh, we're going to ask, as we always do, 10 quick questions. And we hope uh, for 10 relatively quick answers from Corey. I know <laughs> Corey has a lot to say. <laughs> and, so you tell uh, me to be short. OK, I'll be okay, short. That was okay. my politically correct way of saying, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll be short. But look, you can, if anyone can say whatever they want to, it's you. So you can just no, go on. No, follow the rules. Eh? That's what I do. Okay. Follow the rules. No, there's no rules here. No, <laughs> just, just guidelines. Just guidelines. So yeah, fantastic to have you on board. So. Uh, Corey, uh, probably a, pretty, a bit of a banal question for, 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 for many, but look, I think this is a fantastic question to start with. What is your favorite essential oil, doTERRA essential oil product, and why? Well, it's really, as I'm sure everyone says, it's hard to choose one, right? It is. But I, every day, I use uh, On Guard. Okay. I, I take the On Guard soft gel every day, yeah. and I, I firmly believe it really helps me have strong health. I travel a lot. I'm on airplanes, and having on guard is just an absolutely key part of my daily regimen. Okay. There's lots of other oils. I know. Deep blue I know. when I work out, lots of issues, but I can't live without on guard every day. And the beadlets too? Well. And the beadlets. I always have the beadlets with me, yeah. and then the soft gel. So I take the soft gel internally and have the beadlets for topical or internal use, using Fantastic. both ways. Yeah. Beautiful. Good start. Good start. All right. So. So it feels a bit strange asking these questions, being being one of the executive team, being an owner. But uh, look, tell us about your first introduction to the oils, because you, you weren't always with the oils. No, know, so. I had when I first joined with DoTerra, I had never used essential oils in my life. I didn't know what they were. Yeah, I had a I had a marvelous first experience with essential oils. Right? Okay. I I brought them home. I set them on the counter. My wife said, "What are these?" I said, "I don't know, but it's what we sell. So get used <laughs> to them. Let's figure it out, right?" And a few days later, I uh, was in a meeting, sitting with Dr. Hill, and uh, I felt a cold sore coming on. I've had cold sores since I was a young child. And I said, do we have oils for cold sores? The doctor goes, sure, yeah. He said, use uh, Maluca, lavender, a bit of Melissa, and some oregano, right? Okay. And now he tells me the oregano was just a joke, but it makes you think it's working, whether it works or not, right? And so I use that, and I've been using it religiously ever since, and for cold sores. And, and I feel like as soon as I feel, start to fill one, I'll use those. And what I found is that I think the Melissa is a key to really get into the viral system, and I don't get nearly as many cold sores as I used to get. Of course, get. of course not. So it's beautiful. And that was your first introduction? My first introduction. Wow. But let me tell you, Oregon. can I continue that story? Of course right? you can. Course so, you can. so once I d experienced that, yeah. now I thought I was an expert, right? Uh -huh. So my daughter had had a, and, and it, you know, cold sores, they get, and then they get a little scar, and then they heal. And, and so I, my daughter had had a, a C-section at a birth, yeah. and she had this scar, and she said, Dad, do any of these oils help for us? section I said sure if you use a little bit of Maluka lavender oh. Melissa and just a touch of oregano right yeah oh my goodness she yeah. went into the next room she did that she started screaming I'm like ah oh, wash it off I don't know put some oh, water on it I no. had no idea it's just, I've learned a lot the hole gets deep. I've learned a lot but yeah. I've learned a lot in the process <laughs> yeah <it's> good. <laughs> good story good story so how did you feel uh, when the oils you know first came into the home with, with your wife uh, so was it sort of a a positive reaction? Was it something you were? It was with? new for us, yeah. uh, so but it was very intuitive. I think it's yeah. more intuitive for my wife than yeah. it was for me, and and so she was able to figure out ways to use the oils. And she wanted a lot of education. She used to ask me, "Ask Doctor Hill this, ask Doctor Hill that." Finally, after a few weeks, she said, "Just give me his number, right?" <laughs> so she's texting Doctor Hill, but we got her a book, you know, Modern Essentials book. And and then she learned how to just internet, Google, figure it out. And, so you just and went now, for the ride. And now just, she's yeah. just intuitive, right? right? And now I ask her, what do I use for this? And she'll tell me. And it's great. Yeah. And, and our, our home has become like the neighborhood pharmacy, right? It's yeah. like all the neighborhood kids. We have lots of kids. And, and the sports teams and everyone wants to use oils for different things. Yeah. And it's, it's great. 
Well, people might be aware, I mean, uh, your wife is here at the moment with you. She is. wonderful to see. Yeah. Um, she's just a, a, a beacon of light yeah. next, next to you. Um, and of course, uh, Corey has a huge family. And of course, you know, the oils would be flowing every day. When, and you've, you've talked to us about this. You've got uh, eight children. Yes. Uh, and now ten grandchildren. We'll have nine. Nine. We'll have 13. We'll have 13. 13 in a few months. The triplets. Yeah. Unbelievable. Huge yeah. family. So, uh, yeah, plenty of options uh, there for the oils. So um, what do you enjoy, and I think this is a really good question for me to, 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 to ask, is what do you enjoy about Tetera as a company? And, and being an owner, what does it really mean to you? Uh, for me, yeah. it's, it's about, I mean, the oils are remarkable, yeah. but it's about people's lives who are changed in the process. Yeah. I actually, you know, I get involved in lots of things in my role at doTERRA, yeah. and I spend a lot of time doing a lot of business work, but when I can get out and meet with people and and learn about their experience with essential oils and how their lives have changed for the better, yeah. it is just remarkable to me. Yeah. So to me, doTERRA is about changing lives. It's not about just oils or, or just a compensation plan or a business. Yeah. That's all part of it. And the oils are absolutely central to that. But it's about lives that are changed for the better in, yeah. in a variety of ways. Absolutely. Well yeah. said. Well no, said. I love you. that answer. So that sort of brings us on to uh, the, the next question: of What does, well, what makes DoTerra different? Now, yeah. We've spoken about this today with us, with us all, but I mean, yeah. in, in a nutshell. Well, I think I think the difference is that we are focused on ensuring that the quality of the oils do make a difference, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so the difference is the quality and the commitment to our mission, mm -hmm. and it's not about growing bigger, making more money. That's not the focus. The focus is on changing lives mm -hmm. and making sure that lives continue to change for the better. And we do that through remarkable oils. I mean, I've tried to articulate to people about co-impact sourcing and what, sure. what doTERRA is doing around the world. It's very hard to articulate to people on a, you know, on a very quick, sort of short mm -hmm. exchange. Yeah. And it's, I don't know of any other company like doTERRA. And mm -hmm. you know, it's, Mark, when you go out and you know, you see a video, we do videos, and they're beautiful, yeah. and it's, you get a glimpse of it. Yeah. But I've been on, you know, into multiple locations and seen this for myself. Mm -hmm. And when you see the lives that are changed there for the better, too, yeah. Yeah. through what we're doing and what's happening, when we get the, the best quality oils that we're changing their lives for the better, the growers, the harvesters, yeah. and making an impact in the community, it's really touching. It's huge. To me, it becomes really motivating as a, as a leader, as an owner, as an executive with doTERRA, it's, it's like, we've got to keep this going. Yeah. We, there's more lives to be impacted yeah. for oh, the better, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, if you 23 do it, countries, right? 23 countries yeah. are involved yeah. with those yeah. third world countries. Yeah, and the third world countries. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable. It is. And there's, there's more to come. It's good. Yeah, just, just beginning out. Yeah. yeah. So what do, um, and this is really quintessential to what Diffuse is about, what do you say to men who perhaps aren't convinced <laughs> with, their, with their partners going through this journey with doTERRA and building their businesses. And perhaps it's taking um, their time much more than their partner was expecting mm -hmm. or their money or you know, there's nothing coming back in those early stages mm -hmm. in terms of financial. But man, what do you say to men who aren't convinced? <laughs> Is there a little uh, Sure, a I think that there's a, a couple of things, right? I always tell men, first of all, as their, as their partner or their spouse or whatever is very involved, usually it's the women who are involved first. Absolutely. It's, it's more intuitive. Women are, are generally more caring, more concerned. Mm -hmm. Men are a little bit more analytical sometimes. That's stereotypical, but it's just generally the way it works. Mm -hmm. And and I tell men, uh, don't get in the way. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't get in the way. <laughs> don't mess it up. Oh. Right? I mean I mean add value and I think I think if men come along slowly and appreciate appreciate though what their partner or their spouse is doing yeah. and, and begin to understand that and then just figure out how they can support it. Not change it, but just support it. Yeah. And and then a, a beautiful partnership can, can really evolve. Yeah. Good. Don't get in the way. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you uh, see men's health um, you know progressing forward? There's a lot of statistics we showed this morning about you know getting into the mainstream. I mean a lot of men need these oils, not just yeah. physically but psychologically. Spiritually, so absolutely, and that's a big focus of us pushing into healthcare. Yeah. Um, you know, I think I think as we push into healthcare as a company mm -hmm. and have more oils in pharmacies and in mm -hmm. in medical clinics, right? 
I think men will be more adaptive. I think women don't really care. They know what's going to work, and they're going to trust what their friend says, right? And, and they're going to find out for themselves. But I think men will really start to adapt to Catch oils in, yeah. in years to come as we get more focused on healthcare. Yeah. Clearly, there's a huge need oh, for yeah. essential oils yeah. with men. And, okay. and I think men, so many men come along. I, I present at conferences where I'll see a men's group and I'll say, how many of you know about doTERRA? And a few do. And I'm like, well, go ask your wife. She'll know all about it. Or your partner, right? <laughs> because women are just more intuitive. And, and men, but men love essential oils. They do. They do. Once they begin to use them, and once they begin to share them, it's different. Men gather their information differently than women, mm. but uh, sure. but sure. but men can become converted just like women. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. So uh, we talked once again about the future of essential oils in the world, and it was mm -hmm. so exciting to hear you talk about that this morning. Um, the graphs that you showed, I mean, it's hard to articulate now in this interview, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, what do you see as the future? I mean, really oh, I think we're just getting started. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we just, we just, yeah, now. four million. Just but uh, you know, a few years from now, it's going to be forty million, right? yeah. Yeah. and then and then four hundred million, you know, ten twenty years from now, and that's where we're moving. And we can support that's that company with, with, with. We absolutely can, and I'll tell you, that's what we. I spent a lot of time working no, no, on. No, you do. We talked about it today. You know, oils like like peppermint and lavender and lemon. There's no problem. There's a few oils. I will tell you, there's a few oils that that we're having to get very strategic with. Frankincense, we've talked about what we're doing with frankincense. You can't just grow no. a frankincense tree tomorrow and start to do this. So we have long-term plans with some of those oils as well. Yeah. But, but for the vast majority of oils and what we're doing, uh, we can scale to many, many times. Incredible. Yeah. That's I, know you, I know you're always thinking two steps ahead. And we're trying. <laughs> now, can you share with us perhaps just quickly um, a moment where you've shared essential oils, perhaps in an awkward exchange or somewhere mm -hmm. unusual. Um, we've had stories of people sharing on airplanes. and. Uh -huh. Well, I, I, my favorite place to share is on the sports field. Right? Okay, okay. So there's been multiple times when I'm I get involved in athletics with my kids sure. or myself doing different things, or I'm running at the gym or I'm exercising, and I'll pull out a, a bottle of deep blue, and yeah. clearly people are like, oh, what's that? Right? Mm -hmm. You begin yeah. to sell that. So I've had. A multitude of experiences. Hey, little sachets, sachets. Sachets. I have little sachets. I have a bottle to share with them and Beautiful. and and uh, have them experience yeah. the oils for themselves because yeah. you know deep blue you immediately sense what's happening. Okay. It's, it's yeah. great. Yeah, fantastic. And last of all, um, what I mean, people might not know your your exact role in the business and, and your your contribution um, week to week. Uh, in well, it's interesting. Business. I'm a, I'm the president and CFO, so. I manage, Dave Sterling and I kind of each manage half the business. We're seven partners, we each work on different things. Mm -hmm. But uh, I manage all the operations, all the sourcing. Uh, we all get involved, Emily's involved. I mean, uh, some people in the world think Emily's smelling every, every plant before it gets produced, right? <laughs> it's not quite what happens. Emily, has a, Emily yeah. has a great intuitive sense, but yeah. all those teams report into me. And uh, I spend a tremendous amount of time doing that and planning for our future growth, our campus expansion, our, the whole operations side of getting oils mm -hmm. from the plants all the way to the home is, is all falls within yeah. what I do. So yeah. it it's, keeps me busy. As I talked about though, you know, it's a, it's a great thing. But the, the key to leadership, and I, you know, I don't know, profess to be the best leader, but is you feel more responsibility. Right? Yeah. So whenever there's a breakdown, I just feel it, and I and I feel like, wow, what happened? And and we go back to the team, and we have a great team. We're we're accomplishing great things as a company, yeah. but that's really my responsibility. Fantastic. Okay. Well, look, uh, we normally have a, a viewer question, and um, <laughs> okay, just a joke, really. But look, I really want to. I just want to not today. I just want to finish by acknowledging um, the. What, what doTERRA represents is, is something which I never envisaged in my life um, to, to happen to me and of course to countless others and, and it's all due to your vision mm. and uh, all seven of you of course began uh, what, nine years ago. Yeah. It's become integral to my life and I want to thank you for that personally mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's a future which I'm so looking forward to mm -hmm. um, sharing uh, this journey with you and uh, all of us are. 
And thank you so much just for being an all-around top bloke. I hope you understand that. <laughs> I do I understand that. that. Um, a, 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 not just a, a doTERRA owner and a leader, but just um, a great a family man and an inspiration. And uh, um, yeah, I just, just want to thank you well, wholeheartedly. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Those are yeah. kind comments. We, we don't do this by ourselves. And, and I think one of the keys Absolutely. is that we partner with amazing leaders like you and so many others. And, and you're, we're truly a partnership, right? Yeah. Yeah. One's not above the other. We all just do different roles. Yeah. And to really accomplish this great vision of changing the world and changing people's lives for the better, that's the key. You're humble too. You're ah, humble. Uh, you're you're kind. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for being on Diffused. Thank you. Um, yeah, great, great stuff. So thank you very much everyone for tuning in. Until next time, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.